Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good evening. <clears throat> We are fine, fine, thank you. Listen, mm -hmm. listen in the rain. Is it raining in your houses? Yeah. Yes. Where do you live? I live in Guasapa. Ah, it's raining in Guasapa. It was raining in my house, but in the afternoon, like around three or four p.m. So there was like a like a heavy rain. Okay. But um oh okay so it, i think like the weather is kind of crazy right uh so the weather is like making a lot of changes and yeah it's super crazy but either way so good evening guys i'm super glad to see you thank you so much for joining mauricio thank you great to see you there juanjo i'm glad to see you good evening hi good, evening, good evening abigail hello um, Andrea, Georgina, good evening, girls. How are you? How was your weekend, guys? Did you work? Did you rest? Hector, great to see you. I see that Maddie's too. Um, so thank you so much for joining and welcome to session number five. How was your weekend, guys? Did you have a nice weekend? No. I am working, teacher. Right now or, or in the weekend? Now. In the weekend and right now. Ah, you worried. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, okay, Andrea, gracias. Thank you. No worries. Okay, so you are working right now. The Marisa, are you at work? Is in el trabajo? Yes, teacher. I am working. Oh, oh, you got the, the shirt on. What time yes. do you finish working today? Today at night. Uh, night? Like at midnight? Night at noche? Ah, nine. nine. Ah, okay. Yes. And and do they give you a chance uh, to have the class? Uh, no, teacher. I mean, so you finish working, but terminar de trabajar a las nueve. You are going to finish working at nine. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. And and the thing is that I'm just wondering. So I'm going to ask you how it is in that case. <laughs> so you're done. And you're done. Porque son turnos nada más, teacher. O sea, no es todos los días, sino que son dos turnos a la semana, así nada más. Y el fin de semana. Ah, yes, 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 I get that. No, I mean, como ahorita. So no, no, no tiene voces así super toxic. <laughs> so um, si la dejan conectarse. No mucho, por ratito, por eso que <laughs> por ratito me conecto porque tengo que uh -huh. estar también en otro lado. Uh -huh. Ah, ah, exactly, got it, got it. <laughs> sí, me quedé like, ah, qué cool, la dejan, you know, she can connect. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me preguntaba de toxic voces, but anyways. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, that's okay. Well, guys, um, thank you so much for joining today and espero que el clima nos permita you know uh to have the class that you can listen right que no nos afecte mucho because creo que en algunas zonas sí está muy muy fuerte eh, Dinora, thank you for joining stephanie well michelle great to see you julio cesar good evening thank you so much for joining mm, yeah and i think that's it well guys eh, today in, terminamos la unidad número uno we're finishing unit number one Vamos a hacer un repaso a algunos de los temas, incluyendo Sure, que lo vimos en la previous class, para dar recomendaciones. Y vamos a trabajar también um, pasados. So we're going to be working with Simple Pass, que es uno de los temas más lindos, you know, pero por alguna razón se nos complica. So we kind of complicated or um, lo encontramos difícil uh, to talk about past activities. Porque se nos olvidan algunos verbos. We forget to make the change. So we're going to go over a couple of things. Um, guys, to get started, I have a little conversation for you. One second. Okay. So I have kind of a little conversation for you. I think it's short. 
Uh, and this is about like activities, people's activities, what they are doing and everything. So take a look at it. Um, here we have, um, let's take a look. We have like uh, some expressions that I'm sure you have seen. Like what did you do last weekend? Uh, really quick guys, antes de empezar a leerla, uh, before reading it, uh, look, at the, look, at the, look at the picture, look at the conversation. And tell me, guys, say alguna palabra que desconozcan. Tell me if there is any word that is new for you or logran, uh, no, la, no la intenten traducir, solo super rápido, really quick. Veamos si entendemos. Let's take a look and check si comprenden eh, la mayoría de palabras or si ven palabras nuevas. If you see new words. Guys, ven palabras nuevas. Do you see new words? Poor you, ¿qué significa, ah, teacher? Ah, bueno, pobre por ti, me imagino. Yes, aunque la expresión poor you es como para expresar simpatía, right? Like when you say, ay, pobrecito, ajá, but en el sentido de me siento mal por usted, uh -huh, de simpatía. So poor you, ay, pobrecito. <laughs> Or pobrecita, so for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Guys, uh, any other expression? Identifican toda la conversación. ¿Ven palabras nuevas? ¿Do you see new words? No, guys, nada nuevo, nothing new. Teacher. Yes, miss. For me is the word win. Win, can you spell? Ah, W, wait. I, S. Yes. W, okay, did you win? Ah, okay. Guys, help us, help us. Did you win? What is the meaning of win? Victoria. Ganar. Ajá, exactly. So Victoria or ganar. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other word? No more. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's it. Okay, very nice. I'm really glad. Me alegra muchísimo. I'm super, super glad. Eh, que logramos, you know, identificar most of the words. So in that case, guys, let's get started. Iniciamos con la conversación. Let's get started with the conversation. Um, so there we have, we have Alice and we have Robert. Um, guys, ayúdenme a leer. ¿Quién quiere leer? Who wants to read? Hi. Perfect. Okay, so Abigail and... Necesito Hi. la voz de un chico. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. So, Maurice, okay. you're going to be Robert. And Abigail, you are going to be Alice. Okay. Hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. 
What did you buy? I bought some new clothes and also played tennis. Who did you play? I played Tom. Did you win? Of course, I won. <laughs> what did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took, took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the Good Park. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stay home and study for my test. For you. <laughs> thank you. Thank wow, you. Wow, very nice. That's that was really good. Really good, guys. Uh, so let's just repeat this word together. So we have like a very nice word right here. Um, this is unfortunately. unfortunately. Uh huh. Guys, repita con nosotros. Repeat with us, please. Unfortunately. 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 Okay, so that's unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, good. Unfortunately. Yes. Really, really nice. So unfortunately. Exactly. Okay. Can I have two more guys? Two more, two more. Kim Mas. Anybody else? Only two, so let me see those mass. We just need two more. Anybody? Me, teacher. Perfect. So thank you, Juanjo. And I need a girl. Girls. Girls, girls, who is ready? Me, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so do not thank you. Uh okay, guys, let's go. Okay. Hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. What did you play? Who, I play, who, who did you play? Sorry. I played Tom. Did you win? Of course, I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the wood floor. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wings. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant. I didn't play tennis. What did you do? What did you do? I stayed home and studied for my test. For you. Yes, I know. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Sounds really good. I like it a lot. Okay, guys, really nice. Um, so questions, guys. Preguntas con el vocabulario. Do you have any question? No, no questions. No, no question. Me preocupa que no pregunten, guys. <laughs> ya le voy a preguntar. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you then. Um, okay, so people, what is the past? So, ¿cuál es el pasado de beber? What is the past of drink? The wrong. Mm, okay. Drunk, exactly. So, exactly. 
Okay, so drag. What is the past of, uh, let me see, do. Did. Uh -huh. Did, right? And the past of win, de ganar algo. So what's the past of win? Won. Won, exactly. Go, what's the past of go? When. When. When, oh, very nice. Really good. Okay, and comprar? Both. Buy it. Mm -hmm. So buy, el pasado sería, what is the past? Both. Mm -hmm. oh. I bought some new clothes. Exactly. So vamos a revisar un poquito los verbos, guys. We're going to check verbs a little bit. Vamos a iniciar with irregular verbs. Porque por lo general, eh, irregular verbs nos dan un poquito dolor de cabeza because they change. So we need to modify them. Okay, guys. So vamos con los verbos. Here we have write the past tense of these verbs. Y tenemos un par de verbos, right? So, vamos a escribir el pasado. We're going to write the past of these verbs. We have sell, sell, buy, work, go, give, eat, meet, see, etc. Uh, guys, I'll give you five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes to write the past. A uh, big recommendation. No revisan su diccionario. No revisan su lista de verbos. Intenten recordarlos. Try to remember them, guys. Five minutes. Eh, por ahí creo que hay un verbo regular. So be careful, right? Por ahí se me fue un verbo regular también. So remember that regular son los que les agregamos ed. So we normally add ed to them. Um... <clears throat> So, intenten recordarse, right? Try to remember, guys. Let me know when you finish, guys. Avísenme cuando vayan terminando, please. Let me know when you finish. I finish. Bye. Wow, I don't that remember. was fast. <laughs> no me recuerdo el paso. Por. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. We're going to check that out.
Hey guys, what about the rest? Finish the job. Finish the job. Okay, very nice. So you finished as well. Okay, guys. So revisamos really quick what we have, right? And so now let's try to eh, intentemos recordarnos. Let's try to remember the rest. So el primero que tenemos is send. Guys, what is the pass of send? Send. Send. Sent, right? Solamente cambiamos one letter y eso es todo. Only one letter. Sell. What about mm. sell? Salt. Sold. Sold. Very good. So that would be S O L D, correct? Lo yeah. tienen así. Do you have it like that? Okay, very nice. Uh, buy. What is the password? Buy. Both. 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 It's nice. And work? Work. 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 Yeah, work. exactly. Work. So, work, solo le digamos ED, eso era la cascarita, right? <laughs> so, it was only ED, work. Okay. Next one, a go. What about the passive? Go? Go. Went. Went. Mm -hmm. Went. Went. Okay. Give. Gave. Gave, exactly. So, give and gave. Eat. Eat. Eight, uh-huh, so eight, eight, eight. okay. Meet? Met. Met. Met, met. Okay. uh-huh, so meet and met. Eh, ¿Cómo lo de la tres? How do you spell it? M-E-T. -E Perfect, so M-E-T, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. eh, C, what is the path of C? So. So, so very good. S-A-W, right? So I hope we got it that way. Eh, veamos el siguiente. Let's take a look at the next one. We have break. What is the bro. password break? Bro. bro. Break, bro. Mm -hmm. Com. Came. Com came. Exactly. So come came. Fine. Found. 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 So that is F O U N D. Right? Found. Eh, for, fa, forget. Forgot. Forgot. Oh. Forgot, okay, nice. Uh, fall, the car, sir. Fell. Fell, F E L L, fell. What about the next one? Uh, we have um, have. Had. Had, Had. exactly. And no? New. new. New, very good, yes, no new. Uh, speak. Spock. Pick a spoke and take two. Two. Very nice. Okay. Really good job, guys. Exactly. So, si se recuerda, you remember. I'm glad. Ya vamos a revisar los irregulares también. I'm sorry. The regulars as well. Que los son mucho más fáciles. But eh, pronunciation tiene que ser un poquito más complicada por la E. But very nice. All right, guys. Now let's take a look at the following part. Tenemos por acá a couple of exercises. Eh, ya lo vamos a hacer, but in the meantime, vamos a su material, guys. Let's go to your material. Eh, let's go to, give me one moment. Vamos a la página. Let's go to page. Give me one second. 17, please. Let's go to page number, number 17. So in su material, in page number 17, Tenemos one more conversation. And of course, I like, I like to listen to more people. So in the 17, tenemos this one right here. I'm going to make this bigger. Interesting. It doesn't work. No sé si logran verlo en mi, uh, en mi pantalla. I think. Wait, for some reason, it's not pequeño. It's kind of small. Doesn't let me make it bigger. Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't know what's going on. The website is thinking and thinking and thinking a lot. Okay. okay. 
take a look. Oh, okay, I guess not. Teacher, disculpe, eh, me ha surgido algo y tengo que salir por unos, 15, por unos 15 minutos. Bye, mister, no se preocupe. Okay, um, gracias. Turn off your camarita, right? And, and espero que esté todo bien. I hope okay. everything goes well. Okay, gracias, mm -hmm. gracias. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. For some reason, uh, my uh, material was not working, pero ahorita se los muestro. Okay, guys, so tenemos in page number 17, this little conversation que tiene que ver un poquito con manufacturing. Um, guys, can I please have two volunteers? Who wants to read? ¿Quién quiere leer, guys? Who wants to read? <coughs> I see Jorge, so Jorge se nos acaba de unir. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, perfect. So, creo que Jorge dijo me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay, so, and Abigail. Okay, so Jorge, ayúdeme con John. Abigail, ayúdeme con Ben, please. Okay. Abigail. So, Abigail, yo vi su manita arriba, pero no sé si se le había quedado. Pero a mí me dijo que era Ben, no John. Ah, yes, no, yeah. solo confirmando que estamos por ahí. <laughs> so we are just confirming. Ah, okay. Okay, George. So, ella está lista. She's ready. Whenever okay. you're ready. <coughs> we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity in chocolate caramel. What? Was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Mm -hmm. huh? Turnover. Turn yes, turnover. Mm -hmm. What about the cost? Right now is three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. Dollar le falta. That's great. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Quick question. Here we have, I think we need to stock. What is a stock, guys? Inventario. Existencia. Okay, because uh, it says here, we need to stock our inventory. So, si tenemos el inventory, tenemos el inventario. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos con el inventario? What is a stock? Existencia. Mm -hmm. Sí, podría ser existencia. Like products. Pero, ¿qué más haría stock here? I think we need to. Necesitamos. ¿Qué necesitan hacer con el inventario? We need to stock our inventory. Any idea, guys? Necesitamos más productos. Ah, okay. Yes, necesitamos abastecer. So we have a stock that is abastecer, right? Or como cambiar el producto to, get more product. So yeah, nice. That can be the meaning of a stock. Next one we have is quantity. Uh, guys, what is quantity? Calidad. Mm, casi, esa es quality, pero va relacionado, so quantity. Cantidad. Cantidad. Cantidad, exactly. So we got quantity and quality, okay. En la parte de Ben vemos, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate, chocolate caramel? ¿Alguna idea qué es turnover? I don't know. Rotación de inventario. Ah, very nice. Exactly. Es rotación de inventario. Exactly. Guys, tenemos acá eh, contado. ¿Alguien se encarga de inventario? Tenemos alguien que se especializa en inventario in your company, guys, in inventory? No. No. 
Accountant. Teacher. Yes. I work, I work as an auditor. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. I work as an auditor and I sometimes participate in inventories with the, um, in the warehouse. Oh, very nice. Okay, so this vocabulary means is for you. Ella nos va a ayudar. You're going to help us as well. Oh, very nice. Okay. So, tenemos un par de words. We have a couple of expressions that we can use. And Kene is going to help us a lot in here. So, stock, si pueden ser los productos. Pero stock también es como proveer o abastecer, right? We have the word inventory. We have quantity. And we have inventory turnover. Guys, it says rotación. Rotación de inventario. Um, in simple words, ¿cómo describirían rotación de inventario? What is that? What is inventory turnover? When, when a product finished, mm -hmm. I buy more product. Ah, okay. Okay, so when product finishes, you buy more product. Very nice. Sounds really good. Now, it says here, what was our inventory turnover and how much was that? So it says three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. So revisemos un poquito the expressions we have right there. Because we have cost, inventory turnover, we have a stock, we have quantity, and we have inventory. Even si ya hicieron los ejercicios de la unidad, también van a encontrar estas palabras. You will see and you will find these words as well. So guys, help me with exercise number one. Um, it says a particular amount of anything. So, ¿cómo podemos utilizarlas? What can we use? How can we use the words in real eh, to match the definitions right here? Guys, I'll give you three, four minutes. Eh, please match them. Vayamos machándola and let me know when you finish.
Hey guys, so let me know when you finish, please. Let me know when you are ready so we can compare and we can double check. I finish. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. So let's take a look at it super quick. Um, so the first one is a particular amount of anything. What is number one, guys? What's the first? For me, inventory. Inventory, okay, guys, estamos de acuerdo. Do you agree or tienen algo diferente? Do you have something different? A particular amount. Number one. Number one. Quantity. Cost. Cost. Quantity. Quantity. Okay, okay, so let's take a look. Veamos here. Cost, estamos hablando de dinero, right? Yeah. Inventory turnover, uh, as you said, eran las veces que se renueva algo. For example, uh, si es ropa, <clears throat> in a store, cuántas veces hay rotación de los productos, right? Um, stock, dijimos que era el verbo de abastecer. Quantity, que es una cantidad de algo. En inventory, estamos hablando del inventario, right? Del el listado físico de qué es lo que hay. So, a particular amount of anything. Ah, amount, this word nos da por acá la clave, right? Amount is quantity. There we go. So, number one is quantity. Number two, a complete listing of merchandise or a stock on hand. What do you have in number two? Inventory. inventory. That's inventory. The listing. Number three, the price. Yes. What oh. is this? Ah, cost. Very good. Number four, the number of times a company sells its inventory. Mm -hmm. Inventory turnover. turnover. Perfect. That's a turnover. And to get more product in the inventory, necesitamos un verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? What is the number? Exactly, so that is a stock. And there we go, guys. So we have these words right here. Preguntas con ellos, do you have questions with them? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre quantity y amount? De hecho, es lo mismo. Uh, se, se relaciona a estas... Pensé que me he equivocado porque es de cantidad y cantidad. <laughs> Ah, no, 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 son sinónimos, they are synonyms. For example, um, I can say, necesito, I don't know, 20 boxes of, I don't know, 20 boxes of chocolate, let's say. So, esa es la quantity, pues el, el tamaño, la cantidad, pero yo también puedo decir, that's the amount. Es lo mismo, amount and quantity son exactamente lo mismo. They are the same. Mm -hmm. So let's move on with the part below. And uh, over here, guys, tenemos read the description of the chocolate product below and complete the chart with products and specification. We have four products, a spicy peanut toffee, total candy, a chocolate covered caramel, and chocolate dipped nuggets. So we have the price, we have the description, and algunos van a encontrar cuántas piezas hay. Like boxes, eh, six pieces, six pieces, and in otras no tenemos that information. So let's take a look here. In the part below, in the part right here below, vamos a tener que inventarnos un poquito. We have to make up some information a little bit. But of course, um, acá viene like si ha trabajado en inventario or si, alguna, si trabajan con productos, we got an idea, right? Como podemos completar esto. So take a look here. Tenemos name, 
So in name normally escribimos the name code. No tenemos código, así que it's up to you como ustedes quieran ponerle nombre. So in your company, ¿cómo, eh, ¿qué código les dan a los productos? ¿Cómo lo codifican, right? Size. So what is the size of these four eh, products? ¿Cómo van, right? Uh, ¿Qué tipo de piezas you got? Ingredients. So what are the ingredients that you need over there? Wait, guys, what is the meaning of weight? El peso. Peso. Exactly, el peso. Pero acá no la tenemos. Entonces, guys, vamos a inventarlo. But pueden buscar referencias. You can look for references. Eh, sobre cómo medimos peso, right? Or de los mismos productos que ustedes han consumido. So try to make it up. And then price per unit. Entonces, ya tenemos el precio. We do have the price. Solamente es de irlo completando with the information. And so, guys, vamos a hacerlo juntos. We're going to do it in groups, right? Que es mucho más fácil. Y el coding and everything lo vamos a hacer in groups as well. Eh, I'm going to give you five minutes to do that. So, give me just a moment. And... Uh, Hi Blanca, good evening. Hi Noe, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, so guys, I'm going to uh, les voy a invitar a que nos unamos al grupo. I'm gonna invite you to join the group. Uh, cinco minutos, guys. We got only five minutes. Um, easier when, uh, you know, you can have visibility, alguien puede compartirlo, pueden tomar notas, porque si yo se las comparto y luego lo quito, se les va a borrar. You're gonna erase everything, lo van a perder. Guys, los acabo de invitar a los grupos, vámonos, click, completemos el cuadrito and agreguemos información adicional. Let's add additional information. Um, algunos no les va a aparecer la invitación, so... I have, uh, I have Mauricio, I have Michelle, I have Dinora, uh, Damaris, and Abigail. Nos quedamos por acá. So you stay here, guys. Los demás, vámonos al grupo, please. Go to the group, guys. Um, I'm going to turn off my mic para que ustedes puedan participar. So you can participate right there. So. Teacher bueno, no bueno. puede copiar la última después de peso. Mm, ahorita me give me one second. Mm, pero, guys, eh, está en su libro. It's in your material. En la página, page number 18. Porque es más fácil. Si alguien puede compartir la pantalla y lo van haciendo acá. You know, pueden anotar. You can take notes. And es mucho más fácil. It's easier for you. So, para que no lo vayan anotando si no tienen el libro físico, right? Uh, there you go. That is the one. Hello, hello. 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 Bueno, comencemos con la primera. Spipe and Toffee. Okay. It's the Vaya, name. De que le, le ponemos algún código porque no aparece ni un código ahí. Pongámosle el código, el mismo nombre, Spacey 2833. Spacey 283030. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. And the, dice, donde dice la size, qué tamaño es. Oh, pongámosle. I think box with yes units. What? Box with. 10 units. But, but with. La mayoría de cajas siempre traen a 12. No sería mejor ponerle 12. Ok. 12 units. Yes. Pero veamos el producto. Dice Penal Toffee. ¿Qué es Penal? 
בין אב טופי. אני פיקנטה. אהה. אנטוסי מני, אמנו כי קומפרמו אל בוטה. אמנו כי קומפרמו אל בוטה. Entonces sería por gramos que se medirían. En gramos, así es. Pongamos... Creo que es caramelo de maní. Ajá. Entonces pongamos ahí... 437 400. gramos. ¿Ok? Aunque okay. eso iría en el buey. Ah, eso sí, es cierto, tiene razón. Tiene razón. Entonces pongámosle... Un, un bote. Uh, ajá. Un bote. Bottle, bottle. Okay. The ingredient is is a pen out. Pen out. Toffee. And chili, chili paper. Pepper. Otro ingrediente. Maní. Ajá, ya estoy. Penab. Está sal. Spice. Sí. En crunchy. Ya no nos cabe ahí en el cuadrito todo eso. No, ya no cabe. Bueno, pero ya sabemos lo que es. ¿eh? Bueno, Entonces, el peso. El peso. Oh, 450. 135. ¿Cuánto? 450. 450 gramos. Ajá. 450 gramos. Ok, vámonos para el otro que es Torture Candy. Los dulces. Aquí el código. No aparece código tampoco. Hay que inventarlo. Ah, inventémoslo. Pues. Pongámosle Turtle Can, nada más. Turtle Can. Ok. Eh, dice que... Six la size. Pieces. Uh -huh. Aquí dice Box Size Starting with the Six Pieces. O sea, box size, six pieces. Esa es la talla. Uh -huh. Solo hazlo. Lo conozco a tu buena tripulación. Parece un poco pesado. Six pieces. Ingrian. Rich. Butter. Milk. Picante. Milk. ¿Cuál es la otra? Chocolate, caramel y otro. El peso, no dice nada de peso, pero dicen que son seis piezas y son dulces y caramelos. ¿Cuál? 250 gramos. Vaya, ponga. 250 gramos. Ok. Ok. Y el precio ya lo sabemos, va. 630. 630. Ok, vámonos con el chocolate covered caramel. Veamos si tiene código. Sí, sí. El box ahí va. No, no lo tiene. Empieza por el final. Pongámosle Choco Cara. Las tres primeras letras. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Choco, después Co, Cara. Choco Cara. Ok. okay. Eh, la talla, la talla, las sizes. 
Amo. Entonces te decía el segundo. Box. 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 Caramelo y chocolate. Caramelo. Chocolate. Y weights. El peso. Pongámosle lo mismo, los 250. ¿De acuerdo? Hello, hello. Sí, de acuerdo, de acuerdo, bueno. 150. Oh, sorry. Vamos para la última, entonces. Dice que son chocolate tipet nugget. No sé qué es. Los nuggets. A ver qué es eso. Nugget, me suena así como medalloncitos. Uh -huh. Ah, no, dice. Chocolate, turrón, son, bañado, son nuestros turrón bañados en chocolate. No es turrón. Turrón, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Va, entonces, ¿cuál es el código? Póngamelo uno fácil, porque no, no. Uno, dos, C, D, N. N. ¿Cómo? C, D, N. Va, C, D, N. Ok. Eh, la size dice or fashion no that can be say that contain just the right combination no dice la size el tamaño dámosle un bote one bottle y los ingredientes dice que son Honey, almón, almón, almendra, vainilla, vainilla, eh, chocolate negro, chocolate dark. ¿De cuántos gramos la ponemos? 250 gramos. Y 7 dólares. Bueno, terminamos. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien que se quedó para llenar la tabla? Mi. Ok, ¿dónde in, te quedaste? En la número 3, chocolate covered caramel. Chocolate. I, I need uh, get me size. La size. Yes. Es el segundo one. Yeah. Box size and six pieces. En la caja de seis piezas. Box size. Okay. Six pieces. Algo más. Uh, the weight. Weight. 250 gram. Okay. 250 gramos. Ok, that's it. Ready? ¿Listo? Yes. Thank ¿Alguien you. más? ¿Alguien más? Ok, ya estamos listos entonces. Amazing, sounds really good. Ok, guys, uh, de hecho ahorita vienen todos también. So the rest are coming as well. Okay, guys, let's go over, the, uh, vamos a ver el weight. Let's go over weight. So in the first one, that is a spicy peanut toffee. Uh, what do you have in weight? 450 grams. Uh, 450 grams. Gram. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in total, right? That, yeah. That'll be in total. Okay. And what is the price? What's the price per unit? Seven point fifty dollars. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds all right. What about the total candies, guys? How much are the total candies?
Better candy. Mm -hmm. What information needed? Yes, how much? So how much are the total candies? Ah. Six, six, thirty dollars. No. Okay. Total candies? Um, yes. Six thirty dollar. Six point point thirty dollar. Okay, six thirty. The price. The price. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that'll be the price. Okay, sounds okay. Sounds really good. Uh, let's go with chocolate covered caramel. What are the ingredients for the chocolate covered caramel? Eh, ¿Alguien, caramel compañero, va a contestar? Caramel en chocolate. Caramel en chocolate. chocolate. Okay, very nice. And with the chocolate dipped nugget? Uh, what is the code? ¿Qué código le pusieron, guys? What is the code? CDM. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Normally, yo hubiera ido como a uno, a dos, a tres. A1, A2, A3. <laughs> okay. But well, nice. Sounds really good. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Nice, guys. Nice. Now, let's move on a little bit. Vamos a revisar un par ahora sí. The simple past uh, sentences. Um... Vamos a también intentar have some sort of conversations. And guys, let's get started. Iniciemos con este de acá. Um, so it says here, uh, complete the sentences with the correct form of simple past tense. So guys, ¿cómo lo completarían? How would you complete these uh, sentences utilizando los pasados? So using past tenses. I'll give you some minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutos while you finish this one up.
Two more minutes. Uh, guys, are you ready? Is everybody ready or do you need more time? Teacher. Yes. Una consultita así rapidito. Ay, disculpe sí. que me voy a salir del tema. ¿Cómo Bien. sé cuando un verbo es regular y, e irregular? Regular e irregular. Muy buena pregunta. That's a really, really nice question. El problema, Miss, es que no se sabe. <ríe> eh, no hay forma de saberlo. Usted tiene que. Nos lo memorizamos. So, una vez usted se lo memorice, and, uh, hay algunos patrones que le ayudan. Pero no hay forma de saber si le agrego ed o tengo que cambiarle. So, no hay forma. There is no way. Ajá, pero por ejemplo, eh, pensé que tenía algo que ver la bucal, pero eh, mm, estaba yeah. viendo por acá un, 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 como un corto, pero este mm. el, el drink es drunk. El mm -hmm. eat es H, si no me equivoco en la pronunciación, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, la vocal. Give, por ejemplo, es irregular, ¿verdad, teacher? Claro. Ajá, pero eh, ¿cómo sé cómo? O sea, mi pregunta es cómo identifico, por ejemplo, el give eh, en, en el irregular es gav. Uh -huh. Tengo que memorizármelos. Ah, sí. No, no hay forma. Ah, ok. No, no hay forma de, de, de saber cómo, por ejemplo, si yo veo el verbo sí, no hay forma de saber que sí va a ser regular o irregular a menos que se lo memorice. So, la práctica obviamente le dice, right? Ah, el sí, yo nunca lo he visto como una D. Entonces cambia totalmente. Ajá, pero mm -hmm. no hay otra forma. <ríe> Sorry. There is okay, no other teacher. way. Mm -hmm. That's it. There is no other way.
Eh, guys, almost done. Ya casi terminan. Are you almost done? Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Guys, como van? Almost finished. <clears throat> ya casi terminan, guys. Are you almost done? The rest? Yeah. Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay, amazing. Okay, guys, nice, really, really nice. So then let's get started, right? And let's practice those ones. So the first, let's go over with those. Okay, number one, what do you have? When did you last? Sí. sí. No. So, ah, qué interesante. So, okay, so podemos utilizar so, so can we use so? No, no. no. Porque está la auxiliar. Es info, info past. Ah, porque en pasado cuando yo tengo did no me permite, right? It doesn't let me use verbs in past. A pesar yeah. que es pasado, el did Real no me permite. Expression, teacher. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't see his question. Ah, no, it's okay. That's fine. No, pero muy, like, really, really nice point there. So, did no me permite cambiar verbos. When did you last see Patrick? Um, and we have the second part. Uh, I saw him so, yesterday. Oh, so. that's it. Mm -hmm. I saw him yesterday morning. Very good. Number two, I didn't. It, hey. I, I didn't, hey. okay, again, hey. tenemos didn't, it. and didn't, no me va a permitir um, hacer cambios it. con el verbo, I didn't, it, 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 it. it. so I didn't, it pasta yesterday, okay, so, entonces, ¿cuándo voy a cambiar el verbo? Solo lo cambio en positive sentences, en, forma positiva. en afirmativas, mm. cuando usted ya dice, yo comí, mm. yo fui, yo leí, pero si yo digo, yo no fui, fuiste, Preguntas y negativas, no cambiamos verbos. Okay. I didn't eat pasta yesterday. Y la siguiente parte dice, we ate. 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 Ahora and sí, because it is an affirmative. I ate fish and chips. Number three, did you read? read? Did you read any of the Harry Potter books? Of course, I read. Red. I read all. Very good. I read all. I Number read. four. Mm -hmm. When Mark told me told. your secret. Mark told me your secret, I felt very bad. But felt. felt. I felt. felt. I felt really bad. Okay, nice. Number five. Last month, I drank, drank. white wine. I drank wine, white wine and I didn't like it at I like all. It. I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Number seven. She <laughs> made a big mistake. She made a big mistake when, when she so so her, her father's card. Exactly. So acá, como no tengo negativas, yo sí debo de cambiar los verbos. She made and she sold. Number eight, guys. What is what do you have in number eight? I went. I gave, gave, gave. I gave him an umbrella, but he didn't say thank you. Say or said? I say. Say. Base form. He didn't say exactly base form. Ya no hago cambios because say no lo voy a cambiar acá because I have didn't. Number nine, did you? Bring. 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 Very good. Did you bring bread? ¿Por qué no lo voy a cambiar? Ah, porque tengo bread. Did you bread. bring bread? Oh, no, sorry. Forgot. forgot. I forgot. Very nice. I forgot. Okay, good. All right, guys. Let's do the following. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con listening. Veamos cómo está nuestro oído. Let's see how you're doing with listening right there. And oh my God. Okay. Okay. Guys, give me a moment. 
Guys, quick question. Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Hoy me uní. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. Es que I am super honest, guys. El link no me carga. So the link is not working. Alguien tiene el link. Me lo puede compartir um, por acá. Can you send, can you share it with me, please? This is, it's not working for me, so I don't know what, what is wrong. Because I, I want to send something and, uh, ah, let me see. Déjenme ver de qué manera. Let me see another way I can send it over. Alguien lo tiene a la mano, guys. Do you have it eh, like handy? No. Pues la verdad yo no sé cómo encontrar el enlace en el grupo. Ah, oh, está en el correo que recibió, Miss. It's in the email you receive. O si lo recibieron en WhatsApp, la confirmación. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm no, pero esa es la de, uh, Solo que esa es la de Zoom. Uh, oh. uh -huh. A la parte ah, okay. tendría que decir chat, chat something. Um, estoy intentando ver si se los puedo compartir con mi drive. So if I can send it right there. Ya la envié. Thank you. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Give me one second. Let me just make sure I am able to access. I don't know why. Okay, okay. Give me just a minute. Ok, guys, so I remember, eh, recuerdo que la vez anterior, with listening, eh, algunos mencionaron que it was kind of hard, it was kind of complicated. Pero no, no me cae, it doesn't work. No, creo que es the, the same problem I was having. Okay, now vamos a probar opción B. We're gonna try uh, with plan B here. Okay, guys, so let's do the following. Les voy a compartir. I'm gonna send you, a, give me just a moment. I'm going to update. Ah, mm, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So let's do the following. Um, I already have, I already have this little exercise. Les voy a compartir el link. I'm gonna share this. Uh, call me drive, and guys, click on it, please. And vamos a hacer un poquito de listening practice, right? So what we're gonna do, guys, is vamos a escucharlo. We're gonna listen to it. Yo creería que está fácil. I think it's kind of easy. And vamos a hacer como una especie de dictado. We're gonna try to do like a little bit of di um, dictation, right? Um, logran verlo, guys? Can you see that? Um, there are three conversations. So son tres conversaciones. There are three conversations. Pero no vamos a hacerlas todas. We're not going to do all of them. We're going to just work in number one right now. Guys, me regalan confirmación. Please give me confirmation. Si pueden ingresar. If you can access. Mm. 
No les pide correo. Me ah. pide acceso. Ve, denme un segundo. Give me a moment. Because quizás está privado. Hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Administrar. Cambiar. Uh, ok, intenté ahora, please. So try now. Um, so, solamente actualicenlo, just update it. Ya si pueden entrar, can you access, ya no les pide acceso, not access, y requested. Yes, teacher, I can. Okay, oh, nice, nice. Okay, very good. So I'm going to give you, les voy a dar cinco minutos para conversation one. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, guys? We are going to take like a little dictation. Vamos a hacerlo como si fuera un dictado, right? We're going to have it as a sort of dictation. Listen carefully, escuchen atentamente, vayan tomando nota, write it down a su ritmo, right? Eh, si, han, si tienen audífonos, use your um, earphones. And super important, si no saben cómo escribirlo, no importa, escriban cómo lo escuchan y luego revisamos cómo se escribe. What is the correct spelling? Guys, cinco minutos, voy a apagar mi micrófono para no interrumpirlos, right? And we got five.
Guys, ¿cómo vamos? How are you doing there? Ya casi, almost finished. Teacher, mm -hmm. only conversation one. Only conversation one, yes. Only the first. The others are going to be homework. <laughs> but right now, only the, the first. I finished teacher. Oh, okay, very nice. Okay, just I'll give you one more minute eh, para que los demás terminen as well. Finished teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Okay, guys, so let's check super quick. Um, help us, please, with the conversation. Uh, can you say, guys, what does the conversation say? Give me a second. Tenemos que leerlo, teacher. Yeah, but give me one moment. So let me look for that one. Let me look for that one. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. So number one, vamos con la conversación número uno. Conversation one, it says, what did you do yesterday, right? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? What did you do yesterday? Um, uh, and the woman, ¿qué dice la mujer, guys? What does the woman say? Clean the house. Nothing much. I stay nothing. at home and I clean stay the house. Home. Clean in the right. house. Uh-huh, so nothing much. I just stayed at home and clean the house. Okay. ¿Qué dice el hombre? What does the man say? How boring. How nice. Boring. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? ¿Y qué le pregunta? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, and what did the man do? I, I drove to, to, to the mountain and, and we hiking. hiking. Ah, so I drove to the mountains. Exactly. So manejé, conduje, right? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. What is that word? ¿Cómo se la letra? How do you spell it? I don't know, teacher. H. H. I K I N G. K. Very nice. A. H I K I N G. Hiking. What is the meaning of hiking, guys? What's that? Patinar. Mm, no, escalar. No, escalar, exactly. 
So I went to the, I drove to the mountains. Lo manejó hasta la, hasta la montaña, right? And went hiking. Y me fui de caminata. So hiking es como irse de caminata, irse mm -hmm. a escalar. Very nice. Okay, let's continue here. And, oh, y le responde la mujer. The woman says. That's fine. That's, fine. That's, That's fine. fine. That, hay otra palabrita por ahí. There is another word. Sounds. Sound. That sounds That's fine. fine. That sounds fine. Uh -huh. Suena bien. That sounds fine. It was. It was a hell great was. time. They have a great time. It was a great time. Okay, okay, okay. Casi, casi, casi. It was. Y luego? I have a great time. I had a great time. Exactly. So, yo disfruté, right? I had a great time. Okay. Amazing, guys. Really good job. So, tenemos en la conversación, eh, in, the, in the exercise, esta ejercicio dos, conversation two, y esta el ejercicio tres, conversation three. Guys, para mañana, for tomorrow, completemos la conversación número dos. Les complete solo la número dos. Eh, les va a tomar, ¿cuánto les acaba de tomar? Cinco minutos. Uh, so it is going to take you only five minutes. Guys, ¿estuvo difícil? ¿Was it difficult? No, no really. No really. So, so, so. Entonces, let's start doing that. So vamos a empezar a trabajar nuestro oído too, because that is important. Y vamos a comenzar con pedacitos de conversaciones súper cortas. Um, dígame, Teacher. tell me. Esto, este video va a permanecer ahí para que nosotros logremos verlo o hay que copiarlo o qué hay que hacer. Y, oh, that's a really good question. Yes, please. Eh, copia el acceso. Solamente copia el link y se lo pueden compartir en el grupo. Se los agradecería porque por alguna razón no puedo ingresar. I cannot access the WhatsApp group. So... Uh, please, um, okay. add it. Claro, ustedes se pueden ayudar, pueden confirmar qué es lo que tienen. Guys, ¿cuántas veces lo escucharon? How many times did you listen to this? O a la primera, you got it. A la primera, entendieron de qué se trataba. Six times. Pero porque íbamos escribiendo detalles, but, pero la primera vez, the first time, ¿Comprendieron la conversación? ¿Did you understand it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, no, entonces that's okay. That's totally perfect. Ok, guys, sí, nice. Pero lo escuché varias veces. Ah, ok. Pero esa es la idea de listening, right? Que nuestro oído escucha, escucha, escuche y de alguna manera nuestro cerebro va or ordenando, right? El sonido, palabras, sound, word, questions and everything. Okay, guys, so vamos a terminar today. We're going to be finishing today with this speaking activity. Vamos a hablar un poquito. We're going to try to speak a little bit here. So, um, it says right there. See? Okay. It says, um, th these are some questions about feelings in English. Obviously, we're going to practice past, should, anything that you want to uh, practice here. La idea es solamente generar ideas, right? The first one says, when was the last time you felt really sad? Uh, is this common for you? Se sienten triste sometimes. When was the last time you felt sad? Probably le sucedió algo. Or probably uh, vieron una película, you saw a movie and you felt sad. Or something happened, right? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez, guys? When was the last time? Question two. When was the last time that you felt really happy? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que estuvieron muy felices? When was the last time you felt, I don't know, happy, uh, amazed, right? So let's try to give some details. Next one says, when was the last time uh, that you felt really angry? ¿Es normal que se sientan molestos? Do you normally feel angry? When was the last time? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez? When was the last time que estuvieron muy enojados? That you felt really, really angry, right? And la última, guys, and the last one says right here. When was the last time that you had so much fun? So en la conversación que acabamos de escuchar, eh, 
this person dice, oh, I had a great time. So realmente lo disfruto. Guys, what about you? Cuando fue la última vez, when was the last time que ustedes disfrutaron algo that you had a really good time? Uh, vamos a armar grupos, guys, because la idea es practicar. Eh, say your opinion, eh, contar qué es lo que, what you feel, right, and everything. Hay algunos compañeros que no los he escuchado much, guys. I'd like to listen. Eh, los quiero escuchar too. I would like to hear you as well. One moment. So, guys, quítense el miedo, quitémonos el miedo, practiquemos, practice as much as we can. And remember, la única forma de quitarse el miedo es hablando, right? So, we're going to try to do that. Um, give me one moment. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, guys. So, les voy a invitar, les acabo de enviar la invitación para que vayamos al grupo. Yo les comparto las preguntas, no worries, para que ustedes puedan practicar a little bit. Ezequiel se queda por acá, porfa. Lady, quédese por aquí. Mauricio, stay here. Dinora, stay here. And the Maris, stay here. No les va a aparecer la invitación. Guys, los demás, vámonos al grupo, please. Let's go to the group. Eh, tenemos like five, seven minutes para poder describir just to speak a little bit about this. Hi. Eh, give me one second. Solo les comparto los demás and I let you speak. Okay, there you go, guys. Let me turn off my mic. So, uh -huh. hello. Hello. La, pr la primera, contestemos entonces. When was the last time that you felt really sad? Uh -huh. Yesterday. That's my 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 answer. <laughs> contestemos todos con lo mismo, verdad? Porque bueno, no sé. ¿Qué dicen todos ustedes? Okay. The... Say answer. Va. ¿Qué dijiste, Ezequiel? Vamos a copiar lo tuyo. The question is, when was the last time that you felt really sad? Mm -hmm. And I said it was yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Where? ¿Dónde te sentiste así? I was yesterday. Is the answer. Porque no pude ir al carnaval. No. <laughs> I don't like that. There's no problem. I was <laughs> yesterday because because personal problem. I don't. Come on, I don't Be, visit because, the carnaval. <laughs> because I have a, a personal problem. That's it. Yeah. Yesterday because. I have, have a personal problem. Personal problem. Personal. Mm, hey guys, well, no es necesario que lo escriban. Don't take notes. Solamente like, ah, give ideas. Ah, yes. But... No, <laughs> okay. libérense, guys. Okay. Give uh, opinions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, intenten dar ton, tanta información como puedan. As much information as you can. Yo confesando me estaba ya. <risa> no, claro, that's why. Es que, ajá, pero cuéntenos, queremos saber todo el chisme, right? <risa> We want to know everything. No, that's okay. I mean, lo que ustedes puedan compartir, den más detalles. Give details, a lot of details. Okay, I just, I just answered the first question. What about the other ones? Uh... I was just to say uh, because uh, I have a big problem in my work. Oh, really? Yeah. Me too. By, <laughs> by, uh, como se by I was solution this problem. Okay. But yesterday, yes. yesterday, Sunday. Domingo. Yeah, Sunday. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Because, because it's a really problem. 
So it was a really big problem. This. Wow, yeah, para I, que, I, lo, para que lo, lo hagan. Um, so they contact you on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. I call me. They call, okay. Cuéntenos el chambre completo. Guys. No, <laughs> Give well, information. Uh, I have visited a Korean, Koreanos. Yeah. I I attend I attended the Korean Korean and the meeting the work with the with there only this only it's, that okay it, it's secret okay okay don't <laughs> worry it's okay. <laughs> If if you don't want to share with us, there's no problem because that's yeah. confidence. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y los demás. Uh huh. Another one. I know? was last the last time that you. I really sad because my mom did. Oh. Sorry. I really sad uh, the. Uh, my mom, my mom did. My mom did. I'm really? sorry for you. I'm sorry for you, Mister. Sorry. Yes, she she have uh, she thirteen years old. Thirteen years, uh, she did. Thirteen. Thirteen. 13. 13 years old? Yes, 13 years she did. That that she did. Okay. Oh, so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Hector. But you mentioned uh, 13 years ago. Hace 13 años? 13 years ago? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. In, in the in the 20 20 ah, okay okay what a long time all right i'm sorry to hear about that all right me okay it was a difficult day for me now and uh, because i almost had a fight with a partner a partner? Okay. Yes. Anything what, what, else? But what happened? Uh-huh. Pensé que solo yo era la 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 que me gusta la información, guys. <laughs> no, teacher, because uh -huh. he is very arrogant. Uh -huh. Uh, more okay. chamber, more chamber. Uh -huh. give, give us more, give us more. Ya no se los picados, Miss. We want Mr. to know. Bill, you had to buy a weapon. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay, so you almost had an argument, you said. Casi tiene un argumento. You almost had an argument with that person. So it means, it significa que no pasó más? You didn't have like a big argument there? Yes, teacher. No more. No more. Ah, okay. Okay. But at the end, so son amigues again? Are you friends again? <laughs> no, never. You're not friends? No, teacher. Ah, okay. Interesting. All right. Wow. Well. But, but that was the, the last time you felt sad. Me llama la atención because you, you didn't say angry, but you said sad. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. okay. Maybe it was a menjurje of feelings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds all right. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us, tell us what else. 
Give us more info, guys. Other person? The second question. The second question. Uh -huh. When was the last time that you felt really happy? Mr. Mauricio? Mm, last time when my wife a birthday, my wife, very happy because, como se dice? Yeah, because her birthday is my wife. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Alguien más? I don't the remember. Time, I'm I really happy because I noticed my wife have a new child. Oh. Yes, uh, I have. Congratulations. I, I will have mm -hmm. a, a, a voice. Oh, oh congrats. Wow. Nice. Sounds cool. Thank you. When, when is the delivery? Uh, she, she, ha, she have him the fe February. Next year? Yes, next, next year. Ah, okay. No, hombre, ya va a ser. It's going to be super soon. Is the hey. boy? Is the boy? What? Is uh, boy? It's a boy. Yes. Ah, okay. Te sacaste la gallina. I have a pair. I have a pair. Ah, a boy and a girl. Yes, I okay. have a girl also. No. Ah, okay. So congrats! Wow, super yeah. nice. Congrats for that. Thank you. I get my Yo digo que yo. Vale, yes. démosle. La siguiente, ¿qué sabe? Uh, no, the... Ah, the no, la segunda. Second one. Uh -huh. Ok. Well, I... Um... The question is, when was the last time that you felt really happy? I would say when my boss, when my boss sent me a rice, a rice, no sé cómo se dice, así es. What? Mm -hmm. A pay raise. Uh -huh. Yes, a pay raise. Pay raise. Ah, pues eso. <laughs> Recently? It, it was, and let me see. Uh, September. September this year. Yes. Ah, congrats. Okay. Thank Sounds you. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you change positions too? Okay. Or only, or only the money? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Did you change positions? Lo cambiaron de posición. Did you change positions? No, it is same position. It's the same ah, position. but better money. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Sounds all right. Sounds really good. Yeah. Do yes, you sir. invite a proposal? <laughs> <laughs> eh, vamos con la tercera. Okay. When was the last time that you felt really angry? Ezequiel. Me today. Okay. Say it. Today, she today. What was the reason, Dilma? Uh, because I, I say in the uh, one and in the first present. Ah, sí. 
S. Mm. In this moment, um, I don't feel good. Uh, my me duele la cabeza. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> lo mismo. Don't worry. Todavía. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed that part. What happened, you said? Uh, because my, me peleé con mi compañero, teacher. Ah, okay. Con el que nos contaba, with the person you mentioned. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So, fue un argumento fuerte, then. It was a big argument. Um, no, en realidad. Pero sí, fue así como que ya no te aguanto y no me aguantas. Wow, so that was a big argument. Okay. Yes, teacher. Oh, It's very okay. difficult. But did you fix it? Did you fix the problem at the end? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's difficult, guys. So we have some coworkers that are not easy. But, uh, you know, as we normally say, póngase margarina, miss, y que le, que le resbale, right? Because there is <laughs> nothing else we can do. It's um, difficult, teacher. It is difficult indeed. Yeah, but I know. You know, um, it's really interesting because some time uh, ago, one student told me, hey, teacher, um, English classes, se sienten como terapia, they feel like therapy. <laughs> yes, so, teacher. So for It's some true. reason, uh -huh, I feel like, yeah, that's yeah. why, guys. So share. Por estar pensando so, cómo resolver la conversación, se me había olvidado. <laughs> ah, you see, that's nice. <laughs> o sea, yeah. que le acordamos. <laughs> Cabal. Le trajimos bad memories. Ay, We were no. just some bad. No, Sorry. but... but Yo sé que... Yes, but that happens, Miss. No worries. I mean, um, creo que todos somos, we have a personality, así que, yeah. you know, It's yeah, cool. let's try to cop. Thank you. Intentemos Por escucharme. Try to cop. <laughs> no, you're always welcome. So you're welcome. You are welcome to do that. Okay, guys. Um, so thank you so much for coming back. Um, I know we have a couple of thingies right there. Ya vamos a revisarlo. We're gonna like check those things up. And one question uh, refers to um, this one, right? Like, when was the last time that you felt really happy? Or when was the last time you felt super angry? So mm -hmm. we're gonna continue discussing these. Um, guys, solamente como un breve reminder. Completemos la conversación. Let's complete conversation too. Para el día de mañana, right? So let's try to complete conversation too. Deme un segundo. Give me just a moment. Me faltan algunos compañeros. And thank you so much for coming with that. Gracias, guys, por completar la sección número uno. I was double checking. Todavía me faltan algunos. Eh, que um, ingresen a la plataforma. Guys, si han tenido problemas, eh, let us no. Si no tienen acceso, let us no. Para que el equipo les, brin les brinden o les ayuden con el acceso, right? Eh, todavía creo que me faltan tres personas. No logro ver como el avance. So, si nos ayudan, guys, please. And yo uh, creo que la mayoría, sí, la mayoría tiene 100. So, really nice job. And same thing, guys, intentemos avanzar con las siguientes también. Try to move on with the rest para que los compañeros también no les estén por ahí escribiendo, you know, que ellos a veces es incómodo también. So, but guys, todo es para, para you know, eh, ayudarnos en, a veces necesitamos que nos recuerden, right? So that they remind us a little bit. Um, okay, guys, so take a look at the following. Vamos a revisar eh, solamente attendance. Ayúdenme con su asistencia, please. Regálenme confirmación verbal que estamos por acá. So, Abigail Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Miss. Andrea Amalia. Andrea, okay. Eh, Blanca. 
a Blanca no he escuchado su voz todavía. I'm like waiting for that. Um, Presente. Ahora sí. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Uh, Georgina, creo que ve Georgina hace unos minutos. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Hector. So, Hector was there. Mr. Sanchez. Present teacher. Jorge Sanchez. Thank you so much. Jorge Narváez. No veo a Jorge. Okay, Ezequiel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Juanjo. Present teacher. Gracias. Espero que esto todo bien, Juanjo. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Eh, yes. Julio César. Hace unos minutos vi a Julio, sir. Um, oh, ya no lo veo. I don't see him anymore. Okay. Um, let me see. Kenya. Kenya was here. Present teacher. Thank you. Paolo. Paolo estaba enfermo, but I haven't seen him. Lady. Por ahí a Lady. Thank you, Miss. Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you, Noé. Uh, Salvador, no, right? We don't see Salvador there. Eh, Sandra Bonilla, so Abigail Bonilla. Mm. Por ahí estaba la Miss. Thank you. Michelle. No veo a Michelle. I don't see her. Eh, Dinora Reyes. Present teacher. And Amaris. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So Hello, thank you so there. much. Thank you there. Miss, ya está en su casa. Are you home? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ah, nice. Okay, qué rápido llega. Yeah. So In this get, moment. Oh, yeah, because I remember you were working, so I was like, wait. <laughs> qué rápido, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're um, safe and sound. Okay, <laughs> so we're happy to see you there. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much. El día de ahora terminamos la sesión número cinco. That means that tomorrow vamos a iniciar con la segunda unidad. No se les olvide la conversación número dos para mañana, right? Eh, por ahí déjenme ver si puedo ingresar al grupo eh, para poderles eh, hacer el recordatorio. Too. Y por favor, eh, avancemos con la plataforma as well. Um, so thanks everybody. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Uh, thank you, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye.